Hi guys, it's Mike here. I'm gonna do a electromagnetic field test as well as an electric and RF test in the Tesla Model Y. This is a 2022. And so I'm just gonna go over some of the measurements um, while it's parked. And then also I will show you the measurements while I am driving. And please leave a, a note in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think that's within the bounds of safety. Uh, let me know if you think it's an issue. And um, maybe you've tested the Tesla as well or different models and have gotten similar or different results. It'd be interesting to see in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. And here we go. All right, so I'm using the Tri-Field Meter Model 100 XE and we are at the on the magnetic setting of the zero to three milligauss scale. And right now, if see, if you look at the scale, we're looking at the center and I am just parked in my garage. The car is not charging and we are at about one milligauss at the driver's side. Not a lot, not a lot at all. I, so far, I think we're okay here. This is right where I'm sitting. This is the console. Okay, we're about 1.5. This is the little slide area. Let me move some of this stuff here. The car's a mess. Okay, so right here on this little little slide compartment, we're at about 2.5 on the charging pads. Oh boy, okay. All right, I'm gonna change the scale, to zero to 100. And so now we're looking at the very top numbers up here. So it's pulsating on and off up to about 15 milligauss. Okay, not unexpected here, right? Because we have charging mechanisms here going on it's, and it's like right on the top of it. So, I mean, I really wouldn't put your head here for a long time, it probably wouldn't be a good idea. But if we pull it back, let me go back to the zero to three scale. If you pull it back, You know, you're, this is where I'm sitting right here, so it's it's not any any sort of issue. Let me put it by my legs. Okay, so right by the pedal and the brake. So right down here in this area where my feet are, we're at about two milligauss. And if we go over here to the passenger side floor, This is the zero to 100 scale. And it looks like we're at about five here. Now this, again, this is just parked. So let me move it up a little bit more. Okay, so. zero to three scale. Okay, so definitely less on the driver's side than the passenger side. The passenger side, again, we'll look one more time. Again, I'm parked. That's just sitting on the floorboard. Now, if we look at the seat and the, where the passenger would be sitting, where their head would be, I keep flipping scales. Let me go back to zero to three. Not bad at all. Okay, about 1.5, a little bit less than 1.5. Okay, and if we come up here a little further on the dash, nothing significant. Okay, more over here, more over on the passenger side dashboard. Okay, so this is again the zero to three scale, so we're at about three milligauss, a little high over here. Okay, as we get Okay, as we get closer to the door on the passenger side dashboard, it's it, get, it even gets higher. So we're probably about six milligauss here. For some reason, there's something on the passenger side of the door, um, right here at the door, that's um, constantly high. Okay, so the back seat behind the passenger side is running at about 
two milligauss. But when I move it over to the seat behind the driver, it goes to zero. So and in the middle, Okay, so this is the middle, you get a glare. And then as you move it over, it goes up. The floorboard That's the floorboard on the 0 to 100 scale. So we're looking at what is that? About 6 to 7 milligauss where your feet are. And then if we move it over behind the driver's side, zero. Okay, so I'm about to take off here. I'm going to put it in reverse. I am on the zero to three scale. So right now it's sitting on my leg and it is, we're looking again at the middle, middle scale. We're at about one to 1.5 milligauss. I'm going to put it in reverse. Okay, so I'm just sitting in reverse. Now we're up to two. Passenger side, 2.5 to 3. Real quick on the driver's side floor. Okay. About 3. Passenger side. Oh boy. Okay. Passenger side is pegged. Let's see. Let me go back. Let me change the scale. Okay. So this is the zero to 100 scale. So we're about 10 to 20 by the feet. And about two, uh, where the passenger's body is with the exception of the passenger's legs. Okay. So Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and back out. I'm gonna go back to the zero to three scale. There we go, there we go. You know, we're moving. Okay, so I'm in drive now. This is sitting on my right leg. Okay. 11 miles an hour. Okay, we're getting some pulses. Just cruising at 15 miles an hour. milligauss I'm at a stop stop sign okay <clears throat> okay whoa okay I'm gonna switch the the scale I just switched the scale to zero 100 because for some reason it pegged so now I'm sitting here at the zero to 100 range. It's on my leg and we're at seven milligauss. Oh, I just lost the meter. Okay, here we go. 28 miles an hour, 34 miles an hour. I'm just looking for any sort of pulses or any sort of uh, major changes. I'm assuming they'll go up in the same proportion, you know, if we did sort of did the math from the passenger to uh, the driver to the passenger side, I guess we could just kind of do the, the proportional increase. I'm assuming that the source might be the same. Okay. So now, now, now look at that. I, I'm just at a complete stop and I didn't even move and the milligausses went up to almost, we're at about 13, 15 now, 20. Why is it going up so high? I'm not doing anything. All right. I'm at a stop. I'm at 15 milligauss. 
14, 15 miles an hour. All right, now it just, now it just went down. Like now it's like done, like what's the deal? Let me go back to the zero to three scale. Okay. So now we're at about a less than two. It's sort of interesting because I wasn't really doing anything different. I was just sort of driving at a nice steady pace and it, it just sort of started changing for no reason. Okay, so we're, we're at a stoplight. Let's keep our eye on it. jumps let me pull it back that's not my phone yeah no so I don't know why it all of a sudden now it's deciding to go crazy okay that's nuts it's pegged now zero go to the zero to 100 scale All right, back to the zero to three. Yeah, I don't know what was what was happening there, but it decided to to do a little crazy action. Okay, I'm just parked here. I'm parked going zero and um, two to three at this point. I'm, I'm on the zero to three range, sorry. I keep going back and forth because as it starts to peg up pretty higher, I uh, I have to change the scale. So three three um, two to three, pretty much on average. Just sitting here with some pulses to five to six. Okay, so we're back on the zero to one hundred scale, and I'm going to accelerate here. Hold up, here we go. Okay, I'm floored. Woo! Oh boy. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can do the acceleration again. I got a guy tailgating me like mad. All right, here we go. I'm gonna accelerate here. Here we go. It's floored. Floored. Woo! Man! Woo! God, I don't know. I just wanna make sure there's no cops around. Anyway, this is all uh, for testing purposes. So you guys saw I'm on the zero to 100 scale. I, I didn't quite see the number because I was focusing on the road, but anyway. So that was accelerating. So obviously if you if you push, let's go up here. If you push the the uh, the throttle, I can't say gas, because right, there's no gas, but I always say that if you push the gas, but it's an electric car, so really dumb. Anyway, you could see that if you if you're steady, if you're steady driving, it's it's a little bit better. But when you're when you're getting on it, you're gonna get a little bit dose of uh, magnetic field. So this is the RF readings in the car, and they're off the charts. And this is the scale. Let me put it down here on my feet. Okay, so this is a directional. So it's mostly, it's mostly up here, like right here. This is where it's crazy, right here where the visor is. It's like off the charts it, and I'm at the highest scale. Is it over here too? Yeah. It's like right around where the tweeters are, right here. Is the worst. Yeah, 
right here. It's like right here where this visor is. There has to be a, I'm saying that must be a Bluetooth transmitter. Let me go back to my other meter again and see, like I'll put it right here. Now it's, see, it's not, I don't understand this thing. I don't know if it's just not that sensitive. It is jumping a little bit, you can see. Maybe isolate it a little bit better. I think it's like right here where this tweeter is. I'm sorry. Let's jump it a little bit. Anyway, <clears throat> that's a little concerning. Like, I don't want to be in a microwave. So that's going to get me thinking about what I can do about it. Maybe get rid of it. I don't know. But other cars have Bluetooth also. So you can check uh, regular gas powered cars for the same issue and you'll probably find the same thing. So I'm not sure if the RF problems are related to it being an electric vehicle. I'm thinking the RF problems might be just the whole, uh, Bluetooth, uh, transmitters in, in the vehicle, which most cars nowadays have them.